Let's now look at how to play with the right hand for your guitar. So the first thing we're going to talk about is holding the guitar pick. And you want to pretend that the pick is the fingernail of your index finger of your right hand. So just put it over the pointer finger of your right hand. Then, and put it out so there's a little bit over the edge, like that much. Then, slide it to the side, to the left. Still keep that little bit of pick going out over your finger, like that. And then, just put your finger, your thumb, sideways, perpendicular, over the pick. So, it looks like this. One finger is going to be holding, the pointer finger is going to be holding the pick, which is on the side of the fingernail, and then the other finger, the thumb, is going to just gently clamp down across the guitar pick. If you see where this says, black ice, you're just going to put your thumb over where those words would be. Your pick probably says something different or has a symbol there or a design. So just put your thumb over that, those words. Let's look at that again. So take your guitar pick and then your pointer finger of the right hand and put the pick over your fingernail. Then if you look underneath, you'll see that there's still some room for the pick here. So then the next step is just to move the guitar pick to the side of your finger here next to the fingernail, right there. You can see it right here and here. And then with your thumb, just gently move your thumb across the side of the pick like that. And you, you can wiggle around a little bit and find the exact comfort zone for your own hands. Everyone's hands are a little bit different and you might find what's more comfortable for you is just a slight change of a millimeter or two, just a little bit of a wiggle. So now, let's look at how to pluck the string. Pretend my finger here is one of the strings. What you want to do is angle the pick a little bit forward, like that, hitting the string. Rather than going flat through it like this, if this is the string, and we angle it a little bit forward because it's easier to pass through the string that way. So try this with your guitar on the high E string. Try to angle the pick just a little forward and play a down stroke like this. Down. Or I have to turn my guitar on here. Down. It would look like this. Down. Down. Okay, let's try that one more time. Down. Now let's go to the thickest string. That's the low E string right here. And let's take our pick and try to pluck that one and do a down stroke. Down, like that. Down. It's a little bit of a different sound. So let's try that again. Angle your pick forward just a little bit and then have a downstroke on the low E, the thickest string. Here we go. Down. Okay, now let's try the up stroke. With the up stroke, we're going to play with the back side of the pick. And we're going to, if I turn it this way, excuse me, um, the, the back side of the pick will pluck up like that. If this is the string, and this is the guitar pick here, the back edge is going to pluck up. And if we look to our thickest string, let's try that on the low E again. And now let's pluck up. That's called an upstroke. Let's try that one more time. Here's the upstroke on the low E, the thickest string. Now let's try putting those together. We'll do the downstroke and then the upstroke. Let's try that on the lowest string. That's the low E, the thickest string. Here we go. Down and then up. Ready? Down 
and now up. And let's, let's try that two times in a row. Down, up, and then down, up. Here we go. Down, up, down, up. Okay, now let's try to get our pointer finger of our left hand involved a little bit and let's play the open string and open means without any fingers on the string let's play the low E with a downstroke and then let's put our index finger finger number one on guitar down on the note F on the low E string that's the first fret of the low E string and it sounds like this and that's That'll be with an upstroke. So let's try pushing this finger down and doing an upstroke. Now let's put those two things together. Let's try a downstroke on the open note E, and then let's try an upstroke on the note F. And let's do that two times in a row downstroke on E, upstroke on F, the fretted note. Okay, here we go. Downstroke. Upstroke, downstroke, upstroke. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is move one fret higher. We'll do the open E here, and then we'll push our finger down on the second fret. Let's try that. Open E, rather open E with the downstroke, and first finger on the upstroke. So let's try this together. Down, up, down, up. And let's go one fret higher. Open E, the open string, with the down stroke. Then this note, the third fret right here, where you see this dot on the low E string for the up stroke. And it'll sound like this. Down, up, down, up. And then one more. Let's try the fourth fret, one after this dot, oh, down stroke with the open E, then up stroke with this note on the fourth fret, which is called G sharp, which we'll learn a little later. Okay, here goes down stroke on open E, up stroke on the fourth fret on the G sharp. Okay, now let's do each of those patterns twice. So it would sound like this down, up, down up, and then down, up, down, up, and then down, up, and then down, up, and then down, up, and then down, up. This is a very good exercise to build up the coordination in your right hand. So try doing this on all of the strings. You could try it on the, the high E string, that's the thinnest string, it would sound like this. Down, up, 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 down, up. Or you could try it on the fourth string. That would be uh, the D string, and it would sound like this. Down, up, 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 down, up. Well, have fun with that.